All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote cold felt from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Seems like a nice boy, putting all those hoodlums in jail. You're behind the wheel. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. We any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's going to happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Roman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Looks 
like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? Doesn't tell me anything. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Hmm. Interesting. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? A man could die of thirst in a case like this. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The color of the decade. I've been working evidence from BD case for six months and got nicks. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in a corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooling. There's some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures. He'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers. But they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder. It was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country. Hey! Uh, 
uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You know the way. You can drive. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last Don't night? pay for that? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a... House officer. Lovely Perhaps. woman. Right. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Where is that goddamn? I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was... Uh... It was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Was he ever violent with her? Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Oh, Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. 
Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks, ma'am. This doesn't pertain to the case. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Officer needs help. 103 and booze. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. It's worse than I could ever have imagined. Try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Probably nothing. Size nines, above average for a lady. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, buster. I don't think this is anything. Tiffany? The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive.
No good to me. I don't think this is any use to us. Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. If one of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. I knew it wasn't safe around here. LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but... Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Said I had to go back, Doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate, but you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. 
Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Ah, uh, for my money, if the broad keeps the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in. He'll keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... I get even the slightest hint of your flight. I think the atmosphere is thick in here. Wait till you try to gas it. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Size 11s. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. We get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. That's a lie, and you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to death. Admit it, Henry. Why would I do that, detective? My wife was a drunk. It was a sickness with her. Doesn't mean I didn't love her. Would you stop loving your wife if she was unwell? No, I wouldn't. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife.
I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place? I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. So you were here, tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you, he called here last night, and I answered the phone. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Doesn't look good for you, Jacob. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R&I. &I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get.
that's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Mendez, apartment 16. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald will begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. You don't need to do this, Alonzo! Get in and drive. Clean this asshole off the road. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Now is not the time to play around, fellas. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Put your hands where I can see them. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people... And the press of this city demanded. 